Hi, the Lyme Macedo. It's me from Lyme and it was Lyme today is uh, Friday, August 5th, 2016. Time right now is 11.39 in the morning. Now, I just wanted to address uh, the question, what do I think of Donald Trump, okay? Or rather, I would like to rephrase the question, why do I think Donald Trump is an absolute genius, okay? Uh, I, I, I know for a fact that right now, there are a lot of people who hate Donald Trump. I know that uh, people call him racist. They call him a bigot. They they call him, uh, you know, spreading hate, spreading fear. But I would like to say that Donald Trump is an absolute genius. And why? Let me tell you why. Now, uh, you need to understand that, uh, you know, I'm... Uh, I, I do not support his views of him speaking bad about Muslims or uh, his, his, his so-called proposed law of banning all Muslims. See, you need to understand this, okay? Donald Trump, see, I have these eight reasons. Now, listen up to these eight reasons. Number one, Donald Trump actually doesn't hate Muslims, okay? That is rubbish. That's absolute rubbish, okay? He is playing a game. Now, if you actually Google and type Donald Trump investment in Muslim countries, number one, you'll see CNN money where it clearly shows he has uh, investments, uh, two golf resorts in the Emirate of Dubai, okay? That is the Trump International Golf. He has uh, Trump Towers. He has in Baku, Azerbaijan, where he announced a partnership to open a luxury hotel in Baku. He has in Istanbul, in Turkey, which is a 40-story residential tower. He has also in Indonesia, where he has an ultra-luxury resort in Bali, okay? And a golf course in West Java, Indonesia. So Donald Trump has all these investments in all these Muslim countries. He doesn't hate them. He really doesn't hate them. All he is doing is he is following his uh, political campaign advisors on what to say. For example, go down to this. That is Quartz, Q-U-A-R-T-S. Wealthy Muslims helped Donald Trump build his empire. Okay. Number one, Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways, uh, when Qatar Airways launched in, to New York in 2007, Trump and his wife Melanie were invited in the star-studded party uh, with Qatar CEO Akbar Al Baker on the red carpet. You can see the photographs that are there um, in um, you know quartz.com, qz.com. You just have to type uh, "wealthy Muslims to help Donald Trump build his empire." And uh, you, you know the Qatar Airways CEO is good friends with Donald Trump. Then Prince uh, Al Walid's buyout uh, for all the uh, Trump uh, you know properties that are there. He has a booming business with the uh, Damak properties. Uh, you can see the photograph there. He also has uh, Trump Homes, Dubai Landmark Group, which offers, uh, you know, all these partnerships. So what I'm trying to tell you is Trump is just playing a game. He doesn't hate Muslims. He definitely doesn't. He's just, you know, he's listening to his political PR campaign managers, what to say. That is number one. Second one is you need to understand that in the world of social media, controversy sells, okay? He has got billions of dollars of free publicity, billions for free. Uh, bloggers are talking about him. Social media are talking about him. People are talking about him. News uh, anchors, news sites are talking about him. He has had billions of dollars of free publicity because of his strategy. Okay. So this is the second reason why he's a genius. Third one is you need to understand controversy sells. Okay. If you do something good or oh, he helped the poor you know, people are not so interested. But if you do something shocking, something really controversial, everyone in the world wants to talk about it. So you need to understand number three is controversy sells. Number four, Donald Trump is a businessman, okay? He's a businessman. He is not a guy who is there to change the world, to make a difference. He's a businessman and everything that he does is moving towards making money. Right now, the Donald Trump brand is minting millions and billions of profits because of this smart strategy that is taken, the advertisements that he is getting, the free publicity that he's getting. So he's a businessman. So you need to understand. Number five, you need to understand he's an entertainer. He's not a politician. Okay. He's an entertainer. Just as Ronald Reagan followed, uh, you know, the, the behind, uh, the people who were behind the scenes telling him what to say, what to do. And he used to follow it accordingly. Same so way, anyway, he's an entertainer. He just takes on the role and he does what he's supposed to do. Number six, you need to understand he is following the law of branding. That is a brand strategy of uniqueness. If he, you know, everyone else, Hillary and all the other Republican and Democratic candidates, what they were, they're trying to be goody, goody, decent, nice, 
you know, heal the world and let's be brothers and sisters. Donald Trump took an uh, extreme stance and said, no, this is bad, this is good, I'll ban this religion, that. And, you know, he took on the bad guy. And people love a bad boy image. So his brand strategy really helped him. That's why he's a genius. Number seven, he played the classic game of, you know, capitalizing on fear and hate. If you actually look at the history of politics, they have, uh, you know, weapons of mass destruction, which was never found. You have, uh, you know, in UK, they had also weapons of mass destruction, bomb these people, kill these people. Well, nothing actually happened. So fear and hate works wonders. Today, have a look at all the news that is being shared, uh, you know, uh, AJ Plus and, uh, you know, those videos from Business Insider. You'll see that people are screaming and shouting, ah, you know, ban this religion, you know, hate these people. And, you know, <coughs> people are sharing these strong extreme views. And, you know, that he's capitalizing on. So that's why he's a genius. And last, if not the least, remember this. It's a game of politics. It's not about who's right, who's wrong. It's all a game of politics. I wouldn't be surprised, end of the day, if George Bush, Donald Trump, Obama, everyone met together and they were talking, shaking hands and being friends with one another. Because it's just a game. This You don't take hard, you, you don't take it personally. You don't have hard feelings. So this is why, you know, Donald Trump is an absolute genius. These are the eight reasons. He is, you know, he doesn't hate Muslims. Okay, he just doesn't hate because if he did, he wouldn't be doing business with them. Second one, he's, you know, using the strategy to get billions of dollars worth of free publicity, which is helping him and helping his brand. Number three, he knows controversy sells. Number four, he's a businessman. He needs to make money end of the day, which he's doing. Number five, he's an entertainer. He likes to entertain. And what he's doing right now is entertaining quite a number of people. Number six, uh, you know, he, he follows a brand strategy of uniqueness, which is very smart. Number seven, he capitalizes on fear and hate. And last but not the least, it is a game of politics. There is no good guy in this. Everyone's out there for their own benefit. So what do I think of Donald Trump? Well, I think Donald Trump is a genius. And this is why I believe so. If you think any differently, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. This is me, Lloyd Nasidio, saying goodbye for now.